Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Danny Rory from DannyRory.com and I am here with another video for you um, because God gave me something and um, I wanted to share the what he gave me with you all. Um, I'm not uh, into like politics or anything like that per se, but God has really had me at this place where um, he has zoomed in on you know, America, but not only has he zoomed in on America, he's also zooming in on his church, the people. Um, and so I have felt a need in my spirit to be obedient to the voice of Yah and do what thus saith the Lord. Um, I have been grinding and rocking out. Um, for those who don't know, I'm an artist. Uh, I'm a creative uh, period, but um, I'm an artist and I've been rocking out with that. Um, but I've been feeling in my spirit to do these videos and it's so crazy because I, God gave me a word like, I don't know, days ago, y'all days ago. And before that now weeks ago. And so he literally gave me the same word, similar word this from a whole nother different scripture. And so I had to share that with you all and I will come and I'll share the other video with you all um, because I had wrote a lot of things down. Um, but this time um, I actually uh, prayed to God and I was like, God, you know, I'm before I start working on my art and everything today that I was going to you know, um, hear your voice. And I just started giving him thanks and just praising him and asking him, you know, to lead me and to guide me to all truth, you know, that I may be able to convey a word that's in season and on time. Um, you know, the, I, well, I really went to him because I just wanted to, you know, um, wanted him to speak to me and I wanted him to, you know, communicate with me in my time that I chose to give to him, you know, because I believe that we all should give God um, time. You know, we make time for so many other things. And, you know, I just feel like this is a good time to make time for God. Um, so, yeah, if you have not uh, checked out my video, um, A Promise is a Promise of God Keeps His Promises, go check that out. Um, also, you know, if this is your first time here, welcome. I welcome you. I appreciate you being here. Uh, I don't take it lightly at all. I'm so humble. And um, I pray that you stay. And if you don't, um, you know, it was God's will. Um, also, you know, if this is your, if this is not your first time here, I'm sorry. If this is not your first time here, you already know what you're going to get. You're going to get some love. You're going to get some joy. You're going to get some Danny. You're going to get some croning up with me. Okay. You're going to get uh, all things Danny Rory for sure. That's never going to change. Um, You're going to get some word. You're going to get some encouragement. You're going to get some, um, you know, some maybe opinion from time to time, but definitely mostly truth. Um, you're going to get that here on this channel and on this page. And um, I'm just here to be authentic in my right as Yah gives me the ability to do so with you all. So without further ado, I'm going to say a prayer and then I'm going to hop into this word that he spoke to me on this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your joy. I thank you for your peace. I thank you for your grace and your mercy, O oh God. God, I thank you for your joy, O oh God, because we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength, God. I thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding, O oh God. God, I thank you for the love, O oh God, because you said in your word, God, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. God, so God, I choose to draw people with your word, oh God, uh, and even with my spirit, oh God, through you, oh God, in love, God, I choose to, to draw people in love, God, and I know, oh God, that as you allow me to be obedient or as I submit to your will over mine, God, I ask that you take free course in this word and that you have your way and that it falls on the ears that needs to hear it most. God, I thank you for all that you are, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. Amen. So let's get into it. So 
literally, you guys, literally, I guess that's my favorite word. I don't know. I say that all the time. So, um, God gave me, he gave me a, y'all, y'all, God's really been dealing with me. I've been silent. I've been working. I've been doing things or whatever the case might be, but he literally has been speaking to me. And like I stated before, I'm not into politics, but God has given me a heart for the people and he's given me a right now word, um, for the season and time, you know, um, and I put my mouth out there, you know, in no regard saying something that God didn't say, but when he speaks to me, oh, I got to say it. Okay. And so I'm here because he has spoken to me and, um, I want to get this word to you. So what God did was he gave me a word for um, America, you know, at large. And then he also gave me a word for the people of God. And this specific video is going to be about um, the word that he gave me for America. And so he gave me Jeremiah 4. You guys bear with me. I'm going to try to read this to you guys. He gave me Jeremiah 4. 1 through 22. So I'm not going to read it straight through. Well, no, I'm going, we're going to read it straight through, but you're going to go through with me. And as God gave me points, uh, cause I, y'all, I started, I write to my Bible as God gave me the points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, give you, you know, uh, what God's given me through those main points. Like that's highlighted and circled and things. Okay, so Jeremiah 4, this is what I want you to read this for yourself. Do not ever take anybody else's word for it. Always try the spirit and see if it's of God. Go to God and ask God, God, is this you? What are you saying? You know, is what Danny's saying true? Um, also, God, speak to me, God. What are you saying, period? You know, even for your life, what you, you want to know? Um, and, and definitely read the word for yourself. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved, rightly dividing the word of truth. And so I want to give this to you. Um, and so I'm going to start at the first verse. So Jeremiah 4, and basically the topic of passage of scripture is called, God called Israel by his promise. Now he gave me this scripture in a previous video i mean in a previous word that he gave me so this is like confirmation on confirmation but i don't have that book in front of me and i believe he gave me some other scriptures but i'm going to come back and then um and and give you what he's given me if i don't touch it all right now from basically just allowing the spirit just to take free course as he would so basically the first chapter, I mean, the first verse says from the fourth chapter of Jeremiah, it says, If thou wilt return, O Israel, saith the Lord, return unto me. And if thou wilt put away thine abominations of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. Now, before I even get into the second verse, I was literally riding in the car a few days ago like literally and and you know um i heard god speak to me and he said to me that america was not going to repent y'all that's what i heard he and he said america's not going to repent and that they are going to wish that they didn't do what they did and so God was letting me know also because I prayed to God and God gave me a word about Trump being back in office and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, God, you know, I trust you. I still stand firm on that word. And for those who um, haven't seen that video, go um, check that video out about Trump. Um, but God gave me that word. And no, it has not come to pass as of yet that we can see God is working and he is moving. Um, and this is not off of what anybody else has said, has said, this is off of what God has spoken to me. And so he let me know Trump would be back in office. He let me know that America would not repent. And what he did was also, you know, he gave me a dream and, um, for my own specific use, um, 
but I knew I knew what it I knew what it meant because literally the night before I said God I said what's going on like Lord is there going to be two presidents because I've heard that I said God I said is there really going to be two presidents he literally gave me a dream y'all I cannot make this stuff up you don't have to take my word for it you go to God for yourself he literally gave me a dream and instantly I said, God, okay, show me what this means. And he gave me the interpretation that same day. And, I, and maybe I'll do a video on what that dream was. Um, oh, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'll do a video on what that dream was and I'll get that out to you. But um, I'll, I got y'all. I got y'all. So let me get back into reading. So verse 2 says, And thou shalt swear, the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nations shall bless themselves in him. And in him shall they glory. Now what I get from that is, y'all are going to know. We're going to know that God is God. And I need you to understand that God's been speaking to me about his judgment coming to America. His judgment is coming to America, you guys. You don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to do it. There is a famine that's coming. That's another word God gave me. And I got to do a whole nother video because he gave me specific scriptures for this specific word. And y'all, there is a famine that is coming. There is a famine that is coming. I am saying it. You need to stock up on food. You need to stock up on whatever it is that you need to be in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be some shortages, you guys. I don't know when. I'm not giving out no dates and no times because I don't know. The Lord did not tell me that. But what I do know is, is that that's what he spoke. And I stand firm on that word too. I'm not, I'm not backing down. Not in this season. I'm sorry. God's been too good to me. He's been too just, too kind. And I've asked God to use me in a way that he would. And and I can't doubt what it is that he has been speaking. Um, I can't do it. So then it says for verse 3, it says, For, this, for thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground and sow not amongst thorns. America, people, people, people. So not amongst thorns. There are bad seeds everywhere. But you don't have to be a part of those bad seeds. And this is just me speaking to you. You don't have to be, this is the word of God speaking, but you don't have to be a part of those bad seeds. Yes, we live in America too. But what are you doing? What are you doing? So then... Verse 4 says, circumcise, cut your circumcise, circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskins of your heart. Ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury comes forth like fire and burn like, like, hold up, lest my fury comes forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Y'all, there is some evil in America going on in communities, in churches, in, in, in Hollywood, in other places, so many places, so many, 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 many places in, in, in America alone, from nation to nation. But in America alone, there are so many things that are going on and God is about to bring judgment, you guys. He is about to bring judgment. He is about to bring judgment. If you are hearing this video in this moment, at this hour, at this time, it is because God is giving you an opportunity to examine your heart, to examine yourself as an individual. Because God's going to leave every person without an excuse to get it right before his judgment comes. Because when his judgment comes, it's going to come. And it's going to be a mighty roar of a lion. It's going to be like a mighty roaring lion. I promise you. And when it comes, if you haven't gotten, it, gotten in good with God, 
And even if you haven't and you've been that person sowing discord or being wicked or doing wickedness or have, serving false idols or whatever, 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 guess what? You're still going to reap what you sow, but God's mercy and his grace is going to be extended upon you in a way that you've never seen. And he's going to get you through such time. Okay. So then it says down to verse five, it says, declare in Judah and publish in Jerusalem. It says, declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves and let us go into the defense cities. Y'all, normally in the word, when you read about a trumpet, that means God's judgment is about to be coming. That means God's judgment is coming. His judgment is coming. I'm going to say it one more time. His judgment is coming. And I'm telling y'all, it's coming. I don't know when. I'm not giving y'all no times because God didn't tell me that. But it's coming, y'all. It's coming. And it says, set in verse 6, set up the standard towards Zion. Retire. Stay not for, stay not for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. I told you when you hear that trumpet, that's when God's judgment is coming and God is about to destroy all of the evil and the evil doing doings and the evil doers who don't want to serve him, who are willingly bowing unto Baal, who are willingly, you know, you know, doing what they want to do because they feel like they can, who are willingly manipulating the people, who are willing. God is about to judge people according to their hearts and their works. And there will be a famine and people will be slain by the sword of God. I'm telling you guys. Verse 7 says, The lion is come up from his thicket. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate. And thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. Now, I've been writing so many things. But the ultimate thing in this is y'all, y'all want to get it right before this judgment comes that God's about to judge. God is about to judge America. <coughs> Excuse me. And before he comes, he's giving you an opportunity to get it right. Just as I stated in my previous video about God's promises. Yes, God is married to the, to the backslider and all of these different things. Yes. But the Bible also says, choose ye this day who you're going to serve. You cannot serve two masters. you either going to like one and then hate the other one. And there are many people in America who are okay with liking either them both or liking what they like. And when you like what you like, you're not serving God because you're doing what thou wilt. Child. God is about to roar like a lion. And I wrote this in my Bible. God is about to roar like a lion with judgment on those people who have been doing evil in the nation, in the world, in the church. All of those evildoers are about to be brought to their knees. And they are going to know that that they know that that was only God. The people are, of God are going to know that that's God. But even, even the people who are not believers are going to know, oh, that was God. 
and every knee, the Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that I am Lord. He is Lord over all. There is only one God, one faith, and one baptism. Okay? Let me stay focused. Verse 8. For this, for this gird, hold up. For this gird you with set cloth, laminate, and how? For the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. It's not going to turn back. This is not something that's optional. Judgment is coming. And just a little bit about sackcloth. Sackcloth was a traditional attire of grief, of grief and repentance. You God, I mean, you guys, God is literally grieving because he wants you to repent. He wants America to repent. Now, he let me know that America was not going to repent. He let me know that America was not going to repent. But guess what? The nation itself may not repent. But even if you, this one individual, you have the opportunity to change your life based off of your will. God gives us free will. Choose you, ye, this day who you are going to serve. So you don't have to be a part of the great falling away of America. You don't have to be that. You can be the one of the ones who did. Millions did not make it, but you can be one of the ones who will. Okay? And repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repentance means to turn. I mean turn, not to say, oh God, you know, God, if you do this, I'm going to do that. No, we're not bribing God in this season. No, you need to be sure of what it is you want. If you want to, if you want to sin, be sure that that's what you want to do. Go out with a bang, if you will. But if, but if you're like, God, that's not the way I, I just really want to serve you. I want to worship you, God. I'm not perfect. I fall short of your word as I do. As I do, I fall short of your word, but I really want to get closer to you. I really want to get to know you. I really want to be there. I'm telling you, this is the opportunity for you to do it. This is the opportunity. Reading on to verse 9. And it shall come to pass at that day, saith the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the prince, of the prince and the heart of and the priest shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wonder. Y'all, the prophets are wondering. There is so many people who are like, God, you say, you say, you say. It's so many. And that's why we have, as the mouthpieces of God, has to stand firm on the word. Because in God, you don't have to wonder. But there are so many people that are unsure what God is doing. Especially because... Um, um, Biden is in office right now. Now, once again, don't take my word for it. You go to God for yourself and ask God, is what Danny's saying true? God, can you reveal to me your heart? Show me your word, God. He'll show you through the word. And if he don't show you through the word, he'll show you through a dream. He'll send confirmation to somebody else. He'll, he'll, he'll do whatever he, he needs to, to get your attention and to speak to you if you are willing to listen. Okay. Mm, my God. Number 10. Verse 10. Then said I, ah, oh, Lord God. Surely thou hast greatly deceived this people and Jerusalem, saying ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reacheth unto the soul. Y'all, during this time, that judgment is, that's coming, 
Now, there will be blessing time. God is going to rejuvenate a nation. God gave me that. He's going to rejuvenate the, the nation. Why? For his people. For those that worship him in spirit and in truth. He's going to preserve and reserve a nation. Uh, he's going to reserve a nation. And there shall be the rejuvenation of a nation for those people who follow Yah. But for those people who are wicked and who are choosing to be wicked and do wicked and have wickedness in their hearts and in their heart minds, guess what? There will be judgment. I cannot, y'all, I can't, look, it's, it's in the word. This is what it's saying. You can't argue God's word down. If anything, you need to pray. Go repent. Examine your heart. God, where do I stand with you? Forgive me for the things that I've done and the things that I don't even know that I've done. Number 11. At that time show it be said to, to this people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of the high places in the wilderness towards the daughters of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse. Y'all hold on because I wrote some notes in my Bible. Y'all, so many people in this world have believed the lies that's been given to, to you. There has been so many lies that's been given to you. And I wrote in here that the, that the people are believing their own lies. That grieves God. And that's why he's calling out for repentance before judgment. Because judgment is coming. There's been people who, who has been doing so much wicked and they have been deceiving us as people through the media, through churches. And I'm saying churches because I mean churches of all kinds, not just Christianity. They have been deceiving us in ways that we... We can't even imagine. America has gone away from God in so many aspects, but this country was built upon him. That's why there will be a rejuvenation of a nation. That's why God is using his prophets and his people and his mouthpieces who are willing to speak truth to you all because trust me I'm not the only one I'm not the only one I don't know if I've read um, 11 or not but I'm going to read verse 11 again if I um, have if I haven't at that time shall it be said to the people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of the peace of the high places in the wilderness towards the daughters of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse. Twelve, even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence against them. God had me write this. God is about to sentence the wicked. He is about to give sentences just like you do when you are being stood before judge, before you go to jail or not go to jail or whatever. Well, yeah, before you go to jail. I'm telling you, God's going to take some people out of here by the sword but it's going to be some people 
that God judged and he's going to give them a sentence. And they're still going to have an opportunity to get it right. But the ultimate judgment is still coming because either they were associated with the wickedness or they were the ones doing the wickedness. I don't know about you, but I've heard all my life, you know, um, from many different people at many different times that you may not have done the act. But you might be guilty by association. And God is about to sentence those people. If you got arrested or have, has ever been arrested. Guess what? You, When that one person in the car who had something in the car that didn't need to have in the car. Guess what? You going down too, bruh. You going down too, sis. Because you knew. You knew. And God is exposing the wickedness of of the enemy in America, in our land, in this place, even in the church. He's exposing the people. He is exposing the hearts of men. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is about to sentence. He's about to give a sentence. He's about to roar like a lion and he is about to bring forth his judgment. And in that time, famine will take place. Things will be desolate. It won't affect the people of God because we going to reap if we faint not. But, but, but God has to. This is imperative. This judgment has to take place. The Bible says, let the wheat and the tear grow together and he's going to do the separating. He's going to do it, y'all. 13 says, behold, he shall come up as clouds and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind his horses are swift swifter than eagles swifter than eagles y'all can't nobody move faster than god so when it come this judgment is not going to take long oh god oh thank you holy ghost this judgment not going to take long this judgment is not going to be long and drawn out because god knows that the people of God have been praying. He knows the true believers. But it's going to hit so hard. And that hard hit is going. It's just going to linger. Have you ever hit your funny bone? When you hit your funny bone. It's not so funny. Right? But when it hurt. It hurt. And it hurt bad. Right? Thank you Holy Spirit. It hurt bad. And that joint linger around for a little while. And you just be like. Ooh. You just let it go away. Oh, and then it go away. That's how it's about to go down. Okay. Woe unto us. Woe unto us. I'm going to read that. I'm going to read verse 13 again. It says, behold, he shall come up as clouds. And his chariots shall be as as a whirlwind. And his horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us. For we are spoiled. We have been spoiled, you guys. God has granted grace after grace after grace after grace after grace after grace after grace and mercy after mercy after mercy after mercy. Even though we have taken prayer out of the schools. Even though we have taken God from the government system, even though we have done all of these different things, we've been spoiled. The people have been spoiled. And now God is about to judge righteously. He's about to righteously judge. And when he come, he going to roar like a lion, y'all. And it's going to be swift. It's going to be swift. He is going to be swiftly moving. Do you understand? Hear the voice of God today, y'all. It's going to happen so quick, you ain't even going to be able to blink. Child. 14. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? 
How long are you still going to be in a mental place of stagnation through wickedness? Wickedness is not just doing witchcraft, although that's a major thing. But it's any sin that keeps you and hinders you from the will of God. Woe unto you who are willingly sinning and willing associated with people and wickedness and you know. 15. For a voice declare from Dan and publish, publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim. 16. Make ye mention to the nations, behold, publish against Jerusalem, that the watches come from a far country and give out their voices against the city of Judah. God is speaking right now to his prophets, to his mouthpieces, the words of his heart from everywhere y'all don't understand all you got to do is click on a youtube video watch a facebook watch a something go to rumble something i'm telling you there are people from every nation speaking out the words of god's heart concerning america even concerning trump wake up you have an opportunity in this moment to get it right God's judgment is coming. As keepers of the field are they are against her roundabout because she have been rebellious against me, saith the Lord. Y'all been rebellious. Y'all been wicked. Y'all been spoiled. We, the people. 18. Thy way and thy doings have have pro have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reacheth unto thine heart. Your bitterness has reached your heart. Your wickedness has reached your heart. Your folly has reached your heart. And because it's reached your heart, God is sending people from nation to nation. To speak on the words of America from the heart of God. Judgment is coming. 19. My bows, my bows. I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because thou hast hurt me. Oh, my soul. The sound of the of the trumpet, the alarm of war. There is a war going on. And not just a natural war, but there is a spiritual war going on. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, you guys, but against principalities, wickedness, sorcery. In high places of this present world. Do you know that the enemy is fighting for this nation too? Because he wanted it to be won over by the things that he chooses. God is about to wipe out a nation. He's about to wipe out. A people. He is about to wipe out a people. Because wickedness, uncleanliness, ungodliness, toxicity, amongst other things, has reached their heart space. 20. Destruction upon destruction is cried. For the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a, in a moment. How long, 21, how long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? How long? 
I come to tell you that it's about to not be much longer because God's about to roar like a lion and he's about to sound the trumpet of judgment and he's about to literally wipe out a people because of the wickedness in their hearts. Once again, I urge you to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Turn from your wicked way in this instant, you guys, whomever this video may be for. Y'all, there's a war going on. And we already know, according to God's word, that we win. The, the people of God win. So for all of those believers praying, fasting, denying themselves, I promise you, God is hearing us. He is hearing us. He is hearing us. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. He is hearing us. Thank you, God, for hearing our hearts. Thank you for hearing our prayers, despite what people think, despite how people look at us, despite what people say. God, we trust you. You and only you. I trust you, God. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm reading because I wrote so much. They desire to stay wicked. Y'all desiring to stay in wicked places. Why? I don't know. It's the heart. It's it's in the heart. That's why. It's in the heart. So you guys, I just read this with you guys. Hold on. I'm going to read 22 and then I'll stop. It says, for my people is foolish. Y'all are fools. God calling. He is calling y'all fools. Jeremiah is calling y'all fools too. But God's saying, y'all y'all are foolish. That's what I'm about to judge now. Y'all are fools. If you think that you're not going to get judged for what you've done or what you've been doing and the folly you've been living in, woe unto you who's been spoiled. They have not known me. Y'all don't know God. But I urge you today to get to know him. They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Y'all, the Bible says cease to do evil and learn to do good. The, the wicked that's been going on. People have gotten so far away from God that they can't hear him. They don't see him. They don't even know what it looked like. And sad to say, even some of the church folk. If you only knew the wickedness that was upon this earth, if you only knew the, the wickedness that was upon America, if you only knew, don't take my word for it. Go to God, y'all, for yourself. I'm telling you, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. 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 I'm going to say one more. Repent. This is the opportunity for you to get it right. If you don't get it right, fine. That's cool. That's cool. Don't take my word for it. Just watch what God's about to do. Because he's about to judge righteously. And he's taking out a people. And it's going, he's, it's going to happen quickly. And he's about to roar like a lion. Oh, God's about to roar like a lion. That's going to be the title of this message. God is about to roar like a lion and his judgment is about to come forth and he's sounding the trumpet this is a sign of the trump of the trumpet sounding because you have an opportunity to get it right thank you holy spirit you have an opportunity to get it right right now i pray for the hearts of people god i pray for the mindsets of people 
God, this word shall get to those people that you want it to get to. And nothing short of that, God, you will have your way in every way. I thank you for your word that's going forward. And I thank you for what's to come. The good, the bad, and the ugly, God. Continue to allow the people to examine their hearts who have been. And for those who have not, God, I ask that you put it in their spirit. God, be with your people continuously. God, and continue, continue, continue to expose the wicked. Continue to expose the enemy in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And it is so and so it is. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. No, this may not be a message. It's like hoorah, hip hip hooray, no. God has a time in which he wants to do things. And in this moment and in this time, this is not the time for that. But what I will do is stand firm on the word of God. And what I will do is speak the truth. And what I will do is speak life. The Bible says, with love and kindness have I drawn thee, and I draw you with the love of God's word. And he is giving you an opportunity to repent. He's sounding the trumpet. He's sounding the trumpet. Mm. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Give God a thumbs up. It's not even about me. I remove myself that God may get all of the glory because I cannot do this of any of my strength. I only get it through him to be able to speak to you guys because these words can come in very heavy. God can give words so heavy. And I just want to be on the side of right, you guys. So I love God more than trying to please man or try to please somebody who may think whatever they think of me. Who cares? I don't care in this season. <laughs> I don't care out of season. I just don't care. Because God's going to do what he says he's going to do. A promise is a promise. He never falls short of his word. Look out because judgment is coming. Don't forget to crown up. You may have to cry a little bit. You may have to cry a lot. But I want you to own your story. Own where you've been. Own where you've gone. Own the fact that you might have been a part of the wickedness. But get it right. Don't stay there. And then I want you to take up your royal place in the kingdom because we have work to do. We have work to do. Once again, I'm your girl, Danny Royal from dannyroyal.com. And I'm just here to crown up with you guys in every way that God allows me to do so. Have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.